Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGym007 and today we're looking at the Catamines plugin. This is a really fantastic and simple mine plugin that allows you to easily create these regenerating mines that you might use in a prison server or something like that. If we have a look here, if we give it a few seconds, this should regenerate and there we go. So these are super easy to create, so you can use a GUI and we are going to jump straight into it by doing 4cm which is the main command. So using world edit, the world edit wand, you want to select your mine area. So I'm just going to do a random cuboid in the ground like this. And then we want to create it by doing four slash cm create mine. Once we've done that, we can do a few things. We can set the delay. So four slash cm set delay, then the mine name, and then the amount in seconds. So make sure you put set before the word delay, like I've done here. And then that will set the delay, how often it regenerates. If you ever lose it, you can do 4 slash cmtp and then the mine name, and that will teleport you on top, which is pretty cool. And then if you do 4 slash cm flag and then the mine name, there's a variety to choose from. You can set different things. My personal favorite is the replace mode. So there is true or false for this one. So true, it will only replace broken air blocks. So if it's a different block, it will not regenerate it after the 20 seconds. So if we do 4 slash cmgui and my name, we can jump straight into it, go top left to configure the blocks and just put in whatever blocks you want. So maybe some stone or gravel or something like that. Click on each block to set the percentage chance. If you have a look up top, it will say the block percentage forward slash the total percentage. So you want to get this to about 100. So let's have a lot of stone, so 94%. And then let's have a little bit of iron ore like so. And there we go, we've got 100% and we've set all that. You can configure the delay again in here if you don't want to use the command, which is pretty cool. And then there are some flags in the top right you can turn on and off, as you can see. So replace mode is still on, so it only replaces air. And then you can also delete it, reset it, and teleport to it. Now it didn't reset because there is loads of grass blocks here. So if I use water to just get rid of those, we can actually reset it properly. Go back into your GUI, hit reset, and there we go. This is what it's going to look like every 20 seconds or so. So we could delete all of this and do some mining, and then 20 seconds later, it's going to replace just those blocks that I broke. You can also turn off a mine for whatever reason if you wanted to do that, and obviously you can delete it if you didn't want any more. But that is how you would set up a mine in your server. Very, very simple. You could literally just create it, jump into the GUI, and then within 30 seconds, you've got it created. And then you can also do 4 slash cm info and the mine name to get some more information about it. So that is how you would set it up in-game. Let's go ahead and jump into the config file and see what we can do in there. So here we are in the SMPNIC control panel and as you can see there is a single YML file. If we jump into this, this is literally where everything is going to be saved. So this is the first one I created, this is the second one we just created. It's got all of the blocks, the delay, the different modes and the warnings etc. You could change all of this so how often it gets people get warned before it resets um, obviously it's much easier to do all these changes in game but you could change them in the config if you wanted and that is everything in there so if you head over to the speaker page you can see it's updated from 1.13 to 1.17 it's a super lightweight and simple plugin but it does a really fantastic job so I highly recommend it especially with the GUI and if you have any issues contact the developer and then here are all the commands and permissions that you may need. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.